IELTS Speaking Success Skills, Strategies, and Model Answers by Michael Watti Published by MC Books Joint Stock Company, Vietnam This recording is copyrighted. Good morning. My name's Mike Smith. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Wan Ji Shi. Can you tell me where you're from? I am from Taiwan. Can I see your identification, please? Thank you. That's fine. Now, I am going to ask you a few questions about yourself. Let's talk about where you live. Where are you from? I am from Taipei City, which is the capital city of Taiwan. Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in a modern high-rise apartment complex. It's a wonderful place to live because it has lots of amenities such as a gym, sauna, and swimming pool. Which room of your apartment do you like most? Oh, it's definitely the living room. I live on the 25th floor, and it has lots of windows that give me a bird's-eye view of the city. I love to sit on the sofa and drink my coffee in the morning and enjoy the fantastic view. If you could change one thing about your home, what would it be? There are a couple of things. I guess the main thing is that it has become a bit run down. My dad really needs to renovate our apartment. You know, paint the walls, that sort of thing. Now let's talk about shopping. When was the last time you went shopping? Oh, actually, I went shopping yesterday. I needed a couple of grocery items, so I popped into the local supermarket. Fortunately, it is just down the road from my home, and so I wandered over there after dinner. When do you usually go shopping? Well, the weekend. During the week, I'm on the go, as I have a really hectic work schedule. I particularly like to shop early on Saturday morning to avoid the crowds of people that shop in the afternoon. Do you prefer to go shopping in big shops or small shops? I prefer large department stores. I think this is because they stock high-quality products and always offer a money-back guarantee if you are unsatisfied with your purchase. Do you ever buy anything on the Internet? No, not really. Well, I suppose I might once in a blue moon. You know, if I spot a bargain, I might buy it. On the whole, I prefer to be able to see things with my own eyes before buying them, so I usually just stick to the brick-and-mortar stores. Let's discuss clothes and clothing. What sort of clothes do you usually wear? I prefer to wear smart, casual clothes. It's really important to me to be comfortable, so I often wear clothes like jeans and a t-shirt. When the weather gets cooler, I'm a big fan of big woolly jumpers. Do you wear the same sort of clothes as you did when you were a child? Not at all. When I was younger, I preferred to wear bright colored clothes. My favorite color was pink, and I had lots of pretty pink dresses. I don't wear them anymore. How often do you shop for clothes? Well, I don't shop for clothes too often, but when I do, I like to buy lots of things all at once. I think it's better that way because you can make sure that you buy clothes that fit well and match each other. For instance, I like to buy a whole outfit at the same time. When did you last shop for clothes? That's a good question. Um, oh yes, it was about a month ago. I had a birthday party to go to and I wanted to wear something special. So I splurged and bought a new dress and a pair of black leather shoes to go with it. Now I am going to give you a topic, and I would like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. I will give you a pencil and paper to make notes. Do you understand? Yes. Here is your pencil and paper for making notes. And here is your topic. I would like you to describe some good news that you received recently.
Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. Can you start speaking now, please? Well, last week I heard some fantastic news from my best friend. She told me that she had won two tickets to the cinema from a competition held on the radio. The reason why this is great news for me is because she has promised to take me with her. Not only do we get to see a movie, we also get to have a free meal at the mall that the cinema is in. It's an Italian restaurant, and I simply adore Italian cuisine. We plan to go there this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it because recently my weekends have been kind of dull and monotonous. You know, I've really just stayed around the house and been a bit of a couch potato, just watching TV and surfing the internet. So I'm really lucky to be able to hang out with my dearest friend and at the same time enjoy a night out on the town, eating great food, catching a movie, and not having to pay a cent. So do you often receive good news? Oh, only once in a blue moon. I seldom get good news. Unlucky, I guess. We've been talking about some good news you received recently. Now I'd like to ask you a few general questions about that. Let's talk about good news. What sort of good news do young people often receive? Well, off the top of my head, I would say it's often news about their grades. You know, study is such an important part of young people's lives, and after working flat out, it's always great to get good grades. As well as this, getting a job is another important piece of news. The market is so competitive these days, and landing a good job is critical to one's career. Does good news make us feel happy for a long time? No, not really. We feel excited at first, but I think the feeling wears off quickly. It's a pity, really. Unless, of course, it is something that affects us for a long time, like. I don't know, winning the lottery or something? I've never been that lucky. Do you think young people will be happier in the future? Well, I think it's difficult to say. Technology seems to be providing lots of exciting opportunities in terms of entertainment. However, at the same time, lots of global problems seem to be brewing, such as climate change and decreasing standards of living. I guess it's always hard to predict the future. Now let's talk about the news in the media. How do most people find out about the news in your country? Well, I think it depends on the person's age. Older people still prefer the traditional ways such as reading newspapers and watching the television to see what's going on, while younger people prefer to go online and surf around to find out what's happening. Why do you think the Internet is becoming a more popular source of news? The main reason is that the Internet provides up-to-the-minute information. We can find out about the latest developments on breaking stories. As well as this, there is just so much more information there, and people have more choice about what stories they want to follow and whether they want to read it or watch it as a video on a website like YouTube. Do you think the Internet influences the type of news stories people hear about? Oh, definitely. There's so much gossip about celebrities on the Internet. It seems to be even worse than what is shown on TV. Also, due to bloggers, we can get a lot of news and commentary about issues that don't make the mainstream media. You know, people can surf around and find out the news about whatever interests them the most. That's the greatest thing about the Internet. People can choose what they're interested in. Thank you. This is the end of the speaking test. Thank you. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.